guys what is up davis here in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to update to the latest dash on your rgh or jtag to 17.544 now i make a video every single time a dashboard comes out usually so today uh we're going to be using jrunner we're not going to be using xe build because uh, a lot of people are confused of how to use xe build with a four gigabyte corona mainly so jrunner uh really simplifies everything and makes it super easy to use basically put it in you put the nand dump in and then you create xc build image and that's it you don't have to do anything fancy so uh we're, you're gonna we're gonna be using neighborhood for this you can do it with a usb as well if you're gonna be doing it with a usb then it's basically the same thing you're just gonna make basically you're gonna copy it to the flash drive from your computer and then you're gonna copy the files from your flash drive to your xbox it's the same thing we're going to update all the files first because uh, that's what I would recommend. And all these files will be in the description for download. Uh, one setup files, it has everything we need pretty much besides JRunner, which JRunner is over here. Um, Symbol 360 NAND Flasher and Dash Launch uh, 3.20 is what we mainly need. And then the plugins. Uh, these are all pretty much updated plugins. The Launch INI. Does not have any plugins on it, and the reason for that is because the last dashboard update, uh, there was a few servers that that had some issues, and so it's just basically going to be re resetting your plugins. So once we update all these files and you update your console, then you need to go back to Dash Launch and you need to reset up your plugins, and that's mainly the reason why I'm doing it like this is because. Uh, it's going to help you guys, you know, if the server or something has some issues, you know, for this new dashboard update, then sometimes it causes, um, you know, freezing at the logo or something like that. And we're just trying to avoid that right now. So we're going to open up Neighborhood. If you don't know how to install it, then it's super simple. It, it installs just like any other program. Um, you need to add a JTAG or an Xbox 360. You got to find your IP address. Uh, you can find it in the XEX menu or dash launch. You're going to type it in, click next, and set it as default. I already have mine here, the JTAG. So we're going to go in there to retail hard drive. My hard drive is a mess right now. We're going to go into one setup files. And as you can see, I already have everything updated pretty much. Uh, this is my old dash launch 3.19. Um, and if you have the Symbol 360 NAND Flasher 1.2, uh, I would have recommend updating that as well, and rec I would recommend updating all your plugins. Uh, let's go back a step. So we're in retail hard drive. Let's open up one set of files. Go to plugins. I would do control A, and I would move all these to your hard drive like that, and then yes to all. And it shouldn't take but a second to update all these little files. So this will put your that launch INI on there and everything. You can pick and choose what plugins you want, but I would recommend putting all these on there. Or you can put them in the folders and kind of organize them if you want. Um, let's go back into one setup files. And let's go to dash launch. If you have 3.19, you need to update that. So um, if you would like to, I would recommend to just if you don't have the one setup file folder, you could just take the whole folder and just put it on your hard drive like that. Um, and then you would have everything updated. So uh, I don't need to do that. So I already updated dash launch and I updated the simple 360 NAND flasher. Uh, I'm going to delete the plugins folder and I'm going to drag this one on there so I can have a backup of that. Next thing we need to do now that all of our uh, files are updated, I would recommend deleting uh, Dash Launch 3.19 because you will not need that anymore and you don't want to get confused. Let's go to Dash Launch so we can figure out what uh, install or what RGH install we have or if it's a JTAG. So um, please excuse my Elgato setup. It's really glitchy sometimes, and so I hope it doesn't glitch out. But as you can see, at the bottom right, it's a Corona, and it's a glitch 2, which means it's a RGH 2. Uh, yours may say something different, like glitch 1, which is a RGH 1, 
or it may say it's a JTAG or something like that. Uh, you will need to know your glitch type and you will need to know your what motherboard you have for uh, JRunner. Um, so anyway, now that we know that, we can take uh, you can take a screenshot or something like that if you want. And yeah, so let's go back into neighborhood. All right, let's go. We're in one set of files. Let's go to the simple 360 NAND flasher. These are old files I can delete. And let's run this default.xex. And as you can see, we are in simple 360 NAND flasher now. So what we want to do is we want to dump our NANDs. And what I like about this NAND, uh, the Simple 360 NAND flasher at the 1.4, is it actually gets your CPU key for you. Like you don't have to get it separately. And the 1.2 doesn't offer that, so that's why I recommend you to update that. Now that we're done, we can click any button to exit. So you know that was pretty quick, 13 seconds. So yeah, let's get out of there. <clears throat> and now we're back at the dashboard. And we're gonna click refresh right here on the Simple 360 NAND flasher. And as you can see, it got our CPU key and it got our flash DMP, which is the uh, NAND we just dumped. So we're gonna take both of these and we're gonna drag them to the desktop. And it'll take a second to copy. All right, so now that we got those, these are actually, this is our NAND backup. So I would I would recommend you to keep this all right guys, so now that you got your flash DMP and CPU key, uh, paste it to your desktop. You're going to want to keep a backup of this file because it is very important. It's your console's NAND pretty much, your NAND image. So if you end up breaking your console, you can you can save this file and you can send it to the RGH seller and they can repair it for you pretty easily. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get our NAND updated. So we're going to open JRunner. All right. And first thing we want to do is we, we want to make sure our dash version is set to 17.544, which is the latest. Uh, we're going to select glitch 2. And really, it'll do it for us, actually. So we're going to drag our flash DMP to right here. And it auto, auto input our CPU key. If it doesn't, you need to go open the CPU key, copy it and you need to paste it right here all right and then you can hit reinitialize so now that we have all that we can get our kb info and you know all that information uh something else i would recommend is to go to the xe build advanced options go to page two and we can set our fan uh voltage right here usually when you dump your nan it'll already be set so you won't have to worry about it but I would recommend doing this just to be safe because you you don't want to get your console to like overheat and stuff like that. So 70% is really good for slims. Uh, and then I usually put 100% on fats. Uh, but that's totally up to you. I wouldn't go under underneath probably 60. Um, so yeah, we have that selected. And as, as you see right here, it says it was uh, it's going to use those settings that we just did. We're gonna go back to the XE build. Make sure your RGH glitch two is selected because that's what our uh, install is, and it's a Corona. So now we hit create XE build image. All right, so everything looks good. It doesn't say we have any errors or any bootloader, any bootloaders missing. Um, so our NAND is now updated, and now we need to flash it to the console. Now, if you guys don't want to do this part, um, I actually offer the service on my website right here. It's a NAND updating service. You'll have to dump it and upload it and then I update it for you. So um, you would go to the store and then NAND updating service. And if you guys purchased a console from me recently um, and you're still new to it, then you can message me and I can help you out and get your, uh, I would already have your NAND so I can just update the NAND for you and send it to you that um, so anyway let's go back to this we have our NAND updated and we're gonna sorry we're gonna go back to this click show folder 
and this is our updated NAND now. So we need to go to this output and we need to copy this to our desktop. X out of this, minimize that. And let's go back and open um, neighborhood. Let's open up this folder we just copied and the flash, the UPD flash.bin. We're gonna drag and drop this here. And then we're gonna run the default.xdx again. And as you can see, it's loaded up. And it says, press A if you wanna flash your NANDs. And then B if you wanna save uh, flash your NAND plus dump. So you could do either one of those. Uh, I'm just gonna do A since I already have a backup and then press start to flash it. And it's gonna go ahead and flash our NAND. All right guys, so it's gonna be rebooting here in a couple seconds. And we're gonna go over and check our dashboard version. And there we go, we have it on 17.544, which is the latest. Now what you guys can do is you can go back to dash launch and you can set up your plugins and your cell server and, and all that other good stuff. And, uh, and then just be sure to save it and restart your console and you should be good to go. So I hope this video helped you guys and be sure to check out my other videos. Thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day.